that is the map to Saskatchewan in hand. Still walking. We have to be so close. I think I found it. Colonial. Can't take that away. Now these are how memories are made. Unbelievable. You know that's a uh, colonial all day long. we have been doing here over the past couple seasons is finding all the lost home sites in our area. We're using the process of elimination at this point where we know a person's name, we know the history of them, and we know roughly where they lived. And then we know we haven't found their home site. So, being that our friend Kurt from the Hoover Boys was up for one more day, we wanted him to experience what it was like to find one of these cellar holes, old home sites, that has not been touched, dug, or anything. Never mind, probably hasn't been visited by anybody except for maybe hunters a long time ago. So we took off on a day where the weather was uh, gonna be sketchy, but we had to get out. You hear that? That's heavy rain. Ah. Myself, Kamikaze Kurt, and the Keebler, we're out in western Saskatchewan and we're actually looking for one of the very few holes, home sites, that we had not found in the past. So we're out here following the signs. We're in an old uh, pasture. Yeah, following uh, one stone wall, looking for more. Yeah, there's a stone wall right behind Kurt there. We've been following it northbound now for quite a bit of time. We're hoping it's going to lead us to a untouched cellar hole that no one else has been to. The terrain is very rocky, big boulders everywhere, so we're probably in uh, pasture land now. So we'll get back to you. The filming may be intermittent due to the weather, hey. but uh, we're going to carry on. The sun's coming out. Two hours in, and the terrain is brutal. There's nothing except one wall, which walls around here can literally go for miles and miles from town to town. But we're still walking. And uh, just hit a little plateau, and Kilo was swinging for the sake of swinging, and he just yelled over to us. He rang up beautiful. 91. I was like, this could be silver. No. It's uh, another lug knot. Oh, beautiful. Oh, yeah. Off, uh, off an oxen uh, head. Mm. Ooh. We'd be close. Nice one. Yeah. Bingo. Not a bingo, but a bingo. Sorry, Sure. Cow mark? Cow teeth. Yep. It went through a cow. <laughs> Processed lead. Yeah. Fired musket ball, chomped on, pooped out, dug out. We have to be so close to our own site. Look at this. Well, after about two hours of hiking, we were getting close. The signs were starting to pop up. All right, so we've trekked on. I just crossed over that wall there. You see how clean the ground is in here? Stacked rocks, stacked rocks, stacked rocks. Nice and flat. That means that this square that we're standing in was definitely worked and farmed. I think we're getting close. It's just way too clean up in here. And coming up in here, the boys took their culture first dig. I just dug mine. There we go. Brass buckle. So between the ox knob, the musket ball, the brass buckle, we are close. And I'm actually looking back there now, and it's a tighter square. That means it's older. I'll explain that at some point. Um, but we're definitely close. Two miles from the nearest road, 
completely unaccessible by vehicle and then you get out into the middle of nowhere and you just know it's beautiful flat square bingo I think I found it uh, back corner check this out stones depression rich Oh yeah. Now for the iron check. That's the sweet song of iron. We did it, buddy. You just partook in finding a virgin Saskatchewan 1700s home site. Look at this. These guys know their shop know their way around the woods. So it's awesome to have a stealth brother with us who is not indigenous to the area witness what we actually do to find a hole. This is this is one that you've been wanting to check out for a while. We never we hadn't found it on the map. We did it. Two hours maybe? Eh, whatever. That's that's quick time. But last year it probably would have taken us four hours. Oh. We'll wait for keeps to get here and then we'll hit the ground because that's the way we do it. Here's something we don't see too often. There's remnants of brick, fallen chimney, whatever. But check this out. Is that still actually a stacked corner? It sure it's is. It moves it. <laughs> it Dude, is. It's got, now it's got to reset for another 250 <gasps> years. There we go. That doesn't happen very often, huh? Nope. Well, I don't know about you, and I don't know about you, but I'm really itching to hit the ground. So yeah. turn, turn that machine on. We'll give you... Uh, We'll give you a full minute. <laughs> Maybe. How's that sound? Is... Nice. No, don't don't feel like you got to rush. We're kidding. This is Lou. So, within seconds, we get on the ground. Instant signals, like literally, boom, boom, boom. Digger Charlie's first desirable dig is. Nice, look how off center the shank is. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is just roots. And That's crack. 200 years old, easily. Easily. Nice. All right. All right, so Kamikaze just popped his friggin' culture at the hole, and Keebs has it in hand, and it's looking to be some it, type of navy button. Yeah, something in the center of that on the top. And there's I can't no. Make it out. That has to be colonial era. Yeah, so Kurt's first target. A USA Continental Navy button from the American Revolution. I'll, uh, Good job. All right, I'm a. Uh, Put your knock knob for I'm it. going back. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to go back. That's a big colonial button. That's a dandy. Look at that. Oh, look at Oh, my. Look at all the guilt. Oh. You're never leaving. You know that, right? This hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got a spoon right here. I want to yeah, yeah. vomit. I feel so good. Oh, yeah. Woo. Something's green. Something's green? I'm big. Button. Oh. This is the back. No. What? <gasps> Whoa. What is that? What is that? Whoa. Look at that. Flip it for me. Look at the green in there. Shank's oh, that is there. shank. It's just bent yep, over. Bent over. Damn. <laughs> da, da, da. How long in are we? <laughs> Three, <laughs> Three minutes. <laughs> so. I get this signal, I pop the plug open, and what do I see? Shiny. Round shiny. All right, here comes Keebs. All right, go ahead, both of you look in there. Oh. That could be your real, man. Holy, looks like. Holy. All right. I'm gonna touch it. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm 
passing off the camera. God, it's big. Oh. Oh. Oh no, it's a uh, Tom back? Hold on now. Huh? You want the uh, foo-foo anyway? No. Just Bob did this to us once, don't forget. Yeah, that could be a coin that made silver. into It does, that looks like a coin. God, that thing was ringing high if, though. If that's not a coin, that's a silver button, right? Yeah. 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 It's gotta be. Initially, it's not looking like a coin. It was ringing up 78 in the hole. Not a disappointment because if it's a button, it's like no other button I've dug. Because if you remember last year, episode 50, Just Bob dug himself a real that had been turned into a button, so. Every button we pulled so far is fancy. So this guy has money and he lost some of it somewhere right Yeah. Keebs, anything? I think it's a slick coin. It feels like silver. It feels like a coin. All right, well, not to waste any time because this stuff's been waiting 200 years to get out of the ground and I don't want to delay it any longer. So the targets were coming up so quick. It was just button after button after button. Wow, another completely different fancy button. Like, mad designs. Whoa. All right, here we go, a few feet over. That would be a cast one piece button. See the, see the line? That's the uh, mold seam. Oh, that's nice. Shank intact. Beautiful. Buttonville. Well, there's no way we're leaving and we hear thunder in the background. So hopefully it either misses us or doesn't last long. Well, that signal on the AT Pro was a solid 42. 42 doesn't sound like anything usually of interest. When you get to a site like this, if that signal does not move, dig it. Look at that mother. Wow. Oh, fragile. It's like double flower. And it's got it all around the edge too. It's a it's a very old two piece. That is. Whoa. Whoa. I think it's a button, but Whoa, I do see shiny. That's really shiny. There it is. Holy crap. What? What did what? I say? This has got to be good because it's jammed up underneath of that root just like it that. It still is. Let me, uh, nice one. Oh, I got a signal over here. So I'm going to go extract while you're foo fooing it up. Um, got a good signal here. It was deep and it was this. Oh, yeah. Shiny bingo button. Shiny bingo button. Appreciate Look it. at that thing. It only, oh my God. Well, that's pretty fancy. Possibly part of a shoe buckle frame. It's not a button. So that's cool. So with all the excitement, for like the first almost hour, Keebler's just walking back and forth between me and Kurt, because Kurt digs a signal, Keebler walks over and checks it out. As soon as he's done, I dig a signal. Keebler walks over. So the poor guy didn't get much digging done because he was walking around watching us, you know? Lou, you all right, man? Come on, get out. You're, you're blocking the TV. All right, Keebler's over here in the hole, and he just yelled at us. Holy mackerel, whatever it is, is deep. You're all, about the, you're all about the depth, aren't you? 14 inches, but lead spoon. Oh my God, that's complete? Complete. A little bent, and I ain't gonna straighten it. Let me see that. We don't uh, we don't see too many complete lead pewter spoons come out of the ground. Wow! And there's design here. That does not happen often. No. Great yeah. find. Kurt's yeah. got something, so let's go see what he's got. Flip it over. Mm -hmm. We have a design. 
We have to be light. Careful. All right, back over at the hole with the keeps. Are you serious? That's where it was. When I went like that, that's where it was. Wow. Shankage. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a beauty. Jeez. See where the keeps is? He's like not only in the lip of the hole, but right in the corner where that chimney was standing. I out like a sore thumb. That nice little turquoise right there. He'd be eating tonight. Look at that little speckles on the blue. Oops, let's get this off. Microscopic button. <laughs> wow, that was tough. Look at the VLT I dug trying to find the thing. Jeez. I'm going back to it. I'm going to put some sticks in this thing and set a trap. That is a crazy old school button. That's That's got to be early 1700s with that shank. All right, let's go see what the kamikaze got. Just fell over. That sounded so good. <laughs> oh. Shoe buckle tongue. Oh, yeah. And that's bro. not iron. No, it's brass. Whoa. There's more in there. Uh, let me see. I'll fling it over your coil. Tell me what you got. 51. There's frame in there. I've never found a complete frame. Okay. It's all up in there. Shoot, oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Sometimes. Oh, there, it is. there it is. Oh, yeah. Nice. Ah. Bingo. There it is. There it is. What did Kurt want? What was one of Kurt's wants on this trip? A complete shoe buckle frame. And it's fancy. It's very yeah, fancy. Yeah, brother. Wherever this goes. <laughs> Can't take that away. Now these are how memories are made. Unbelievable. Colonial shoe buckle. He's got the full frame and a part of the tongue. Hopefully the rest is in there. Either way, that frame intact. Yeah, buddy. Right in the lip. Another microscopic cuff button. It's actually in this like weird lump of dirt here. I don't know what that's from, but it's uh, it's getting dark out here. Well, I think there's a chance of rain. I'm gonna hide out under the vegetation for a little bit and see if it slows up, but. Give it a few. So we hung out under the tree for about 30 minutes while the skies just opened up. And as soon as it stopped, we got right back out there and got back into the ground because there was no way we were leaving. While I was digging that, I pulled out a 51 signal. And that's a button. Ooh, look at the color. Wow. You know, this isn't like a tin can. That's something else. Look at the color. Huh. So coming back over from where Kurt is, we're still working the front end here and all these rose bushes and we're still pulling out targets. Uh, the rain is actually helping the conductivity in the ground because it's actually louder now. I just popped the hole open and I see something in there. Join me, won't you? I was hoping it was one of your anchor buttons, but let me give that a, let me give that a JMO brushing. Now, she's a Plano, that's cool. Digging tool. A little wow. bit of big trowel. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, you don't see that pop up too often. No, and I'm hoping there's a maker's mark on this band that how Yeah, that's here. brass, that band. It is. You can see by the color. Very nice. Yeah. Just off here a little bit, huh? Yeah, yeah. Probably, you know, the garden area. There you go. Well, I got me an upper 60 signal. Let's do it. Let me get at it. Whoa, right in the fucking surface. A button, right? Yeah. Up. Shank up. Mine was shrank down. Damn! You got a button? Yeah, on top of the surface. I just got another fancy button. And this is a lead. A lead button. It's a lead one that looks exactly like my silver one. Oh, oh my god, man. dude. 
I didn't know you were wrong. That is fanciest at its finest with shank. It looks like the globe. Latitude, longitude. Latitude, longitude. It? Maybe it's yeah. the legion of stupid heroes. Yeah. Unbelievable. I heard whoa. Oh my god. That is. Is that lead? Yeah. I have never seen a lead pipe. That looks like a fresh break, but I, I haven't beeped the hole again. I have never seen a lead pipe ever. That's that's what it it looks like, right? Nothing like a little bit of tobacco and lead poisoning. Whoa, whoa. Alright, I'm the saw holes way up there. Some all comes down in corners here. Uh we got some nice big old trees. A lot of a lot of activity down here because I'm picking up stuff like this left and right. Half a shank, but still, it's got some, it's got some design on it. Tobacco tin, it's all in pieces, but you can see the bottom there. That's standard size. Oh yeah, definitely weren't beans. No, I could go for some of that aged tobacco. Yeah. Nice. I think I've seen more lead buttons come out of this place than anywhere else. Well, got the biggest pile of poo right there. And there's an 80 signal right under it. I can dig that. There here we go. Poo be gone. You got that, kids. Well, it's a nail, but it was under this huge pile of poo. So it grew, it morphed, it uh, oh, fertilized. Yeah, mm. it's a big super nail now. Cool, man. Cool. Howdy, just checking in. 55 signal, so I'm guessing it's probably a button. Oh, I see. Whoa. Another fancy schmancy button. Wow. Looks like Hal's eye. I was wondering, Dave. That's kind of interesting. I've never seen corrosion like that. Yeah, actually, it's the first broken button. Good. Well, not the most exciting of finds, but if you ever come across something like this, what that is, is that is the scale part of a knife, or it could be a fork, where they attach the wood or bone. Still a cool artifact from a colonial home site, so that goes with. Oh, and repeatable sideways. Clean, brother, clean. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Those things sound awesome. Probably fired from about two miles away from here. I had one yesterday sound just like that. Yeah, try it again. Try it now. No way. I hate that. All right. Ringing in at a 55. I got me a beautiful thimble. Look at that. Came right out in the scoop. Gotta love it. When we came in, this is where I started. I put my bag on the pile of bricks. Always check your bag. That's a good signal, huh? Yeah. Check out the signal. Oh, beautiful. Whoa. Look at, these are so fancy. That they have stuff on the back. That is awesome. Beautiful. Those are like the nicest buttons I've seen. One piece like that? Yeah. I can't believe all the buttons we pulled out today. I know. Wait till we count them up. I just, see everyone's different too. <laughs> I'm, I'm completely loaded here. I just stepped away from the brick pile. 
Got me a 53, popped it out, and I think I'm seeing anchor. Like mine? Like yours. Whoa. I just flipped it out and threw it on top of the plug. I Boom. Bam. Thank you. Twins, Basil. Do you have shank? Broken shank, but that's fine. Twins. Feet from where I just stepped from. I love this game. Killer, isn't it? Again, this is where we started. We have not stopped going back and forth around the lip here. You can't get away from it. You get away, and then you get drawn back, and you find another button. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep doing it until we got to go. All right, about the magic number, about 100 feet northwest of the cellar hole. Getting those little easy teeny tiny buttons that you lose when you have to run out to the outhouse. Oh, jeez. Like, I'm going to find that again. All right. So, button, button. Got a 53. Popped some earth out. And that sounds sexy as hell. I've never found so many of these kind of buttons in one spot. That is so cool. I hope it's as shiny as his. Um, weird, though. When the signal changed so much in and out of the ground. Still, nice. Well, as you can see... <laughs> It's mosquito season. <laughs> We've been here for quite a few hours, uh, dodging storms. We know there's got to be more here because we've been isolating around the hole itself. Keebler's done his, uh, what he calls, orbiting. Orbit. He goes out and checks the outside perimeter. So what we're going to do is, uh, we might go see Earl, but we're going to go back to the shack. And we're going to lay everything out and do some chit-chat about that, and uh, then we'll wrap it up. So oh, wait, big shout out. To Earl. Go to my wife, it's her birthday today. It's Keebler Mom's <laughs> birthday. Happy birthday, Keebler Mom. Yeah, so. All right, hopefully we can get out of here a lot quicker than it took to get in here. Well, we made it back to the shack. That had to be two miles in because that walk back was, you don't, you lose track of time and distance when you're looking because you're like a dog with your nose to the ground. But on the way back, Wow. Yeah. like wet undercarriage. Yeah. <laughs> Soaked. So that's it. That puts a wrap on an amazing day. Finding a place like that and having Kurt with us is just priceless. Absolutely priceless. Never forget that day. And the worst rainstorm we ever done did get caught out in while digging. So, as always, stay young. Always keep them guessing. Live free or die. Dig it all. See ya. Way out here in the wood. I don't think this is going to be a good place to uh, metal detect today. The signs are not good here. <laughs> That's like voodoo or something, yeah. isn't it? Voodoo is a voodoo. That you do. Let's yeah. let's let's go, man. This this is crazy. I haven't had one hippie dropping in like the last four shows, and I'm walking along. We're cleaning up. And I'm scanning the grounds, and I spot a bingo. Okay, if you can extract it, get me a date on that thing. And, oh, look, a double. You got yourself a, a basic 1973 dime, a penny, and a 88p dime. Nice, I got a little spill. Beautiful. Good signs again. Look at, look at all these crazy things around. That's like or something, isn't it? Man, check this out. Whoa. Wow. What is this? That's fancy as... Man, look at that. Whoa.
You see that tie? I got this. You see that tie? Oh yeah, huh? In style. That's Lou. Come here, Lou. Lou, come on. Sorry, Lou's in the shack at the moment. So...